What is up? What is up? What is up? April 27th, beautiful day. Uptown, we out here. Spring is a little, spring is supposed to be here. It still feels a little chippy, a, a little chilly, a little nippy, but it is what it is. Saturday morning, I got an inspection at the at the listing I have on Wickham Avenue. Less than 30 days, got a buyer, 620. So we're gonna go forward with them and we're gonna close pretty quickly and I'm gonna see a couple bands. Anyway, I want it to air. <laughs> if you don't like cursing off our language, you should get off this video at, at this moment. I gotta air, I gotta air some of these tampon wearing motherfuckers out. And it is so sad, but it's like every so often, I gotta come with that heat, I gotta come with that smoke. Why is it that people think they're more important than they really are? I say this as the person who is the creator of this channel, who you're watching at the moment, I am not that important. I know that for a fact. I am very important to me. But if I die tomorrow, the world keeps going on. Y'all stop watching, and y'all gonna start watching somebody else. Damn, Mr. Harris passed. Shit, that sucks. All right, let me keep let me keep going. That's life. You really got people, and I could tell, I could tell these are these are generally young men. Like these niggas is from 16 to 25. Like young wet behind the ears haven't done shit with their lives. Because when you're doing something with your life, you realize how important or how significant some things are and how insignificant other things are. For example, I'm a real estate broker. I understand that when people wanna sell their home, they're gonna sell their home. And if I could, I could be following up in their face for a year, they said they're gonna use me. If I don't continue to follow up when they're ready, they'll use somebody else because they're gonna accomplish what they wanna accomplish. If you go to a grocery store, you're used to going to a certain grocery store to get certain food, right? One day you see the grocery store is closed for the day. You don't say, damn, I can't eat today. You say, I'm gonna go to another store, right? I say that because I want to show how we all love to think that we are so important, we're all this, we're that, and we're not. <laughs> and I start this video off humbling myself first so that I can humble you motherfuckers next. As I said before, I do this because of the love of the game. I've had a vision for this channel in 2013 that I brought forth in 2019. And now in 2024, it has grown so much bigger than I thought it would be. And I'm not begging for it. I'm not uh, 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 desperate for it. It's going to come. It's going to come because when you have a genuine care for wanting to help others, people are going to see that. On top of when you're giving value for free, people will come and see that. I've seen it in the real estate, and so of course I'm seeing it in YouTube, and I'm gonna apply it in other areas and industries and things that I wanna do for the, for, uh, for the next 10 years. So when you folks think, this is not to everybody, but you know who you are. When you folks think that you come to my channel and your opinion is that fucking important, and it's not, I laugh at you. I laugh at you because it shows how little you are in real life. It shows how little you have going on in real life. Let me tell you something. Men who are building and going forward in a direction that they want to go forward in, I'm gonna go straight. It's easier for me to go straight. They don't have time or they don't have the energy to waste in areas that don't. that's not beneficial to them, right? You will never find a multi-millionaire man in a group of people that he doesn't align with, values-wise or principle-wise. Why? Because as a man, when you get to a certain level and you see a certain level of success, you understand that the people you surround yourself with is everything about who you are. And so if you are not about what I'm about, I would never surround you. I would never surround myself with you. My boy, he, he, got, he came home from a six-year bid, you know, out here in these streets doing crazy shit. And um, I love that dude. Been, we've been friends since I was 10, 12. But I haven't hung out with him like that. Why? Because I am not that person he remembers from years ago. I am not that person that he remembers from the yard, from, from on the block, from, <laughs> from Philly, from White Plains, to upstate. I am not that guy anymore. 
you know? So, if you think that your whack ass opinion, like, a nigga come to my channel talking about if you haven't made it already, your, your, your waste of time is too late. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Who cares what you think? Nigga, go make your own ARG, whatever the fuck his name is. Go make your own channel. But you won't, because you're a lame bitch ass nigga. And I don't know why you and the other lame bitch ass niggas don't just get together and have a lame bitch ass channel. <laughs> like, lame bitch ass niggas hang out with lame bitch ass niggas. So why don't you go do what you gotta do? Nah, you see, you won't, because you're a loser. You come to another man's channel to put others down to what, make yourself feel good? Nigga, you're, you expose yourself to be a lame. Because men of value will never tear down other men. I mean, if they're being teared down by the individual, then fine. But you're not going to go around just randomly tearing down other people because what? <laughs> you only do that when you feel you're in You see you're inadequate. Not feel you, nigga, you know you're an in inadequate dude. Because why would you come to my channel tearing down random people? I could smell your ina inadequacy through the fucking camera. Through the, through the damn computer screen. I can smell the bitch in you. I made the video, uh, uh, you know, saying thank you and stuff like that. And somebody wrote, no thank you. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you don't have to be here. Yo, this channel could drop 75% of subscribers. I would feel better about it. I would feel better if everyone left. Why? Because it would get rid of all that attention, all that negativity. It would take away the positivity too, but then it would just be a lot less stress. I know that as this channel grows, it's just gonna be more haters, more niggas that got ain't got shit going on. And I'm just gonna revert all you motherfuckers to this channel, this video right here. This, this, this video is for you lame, tampon wearing bitch ass niggas. You got nothing fucking going on and you think you're gonna come here and tear down me, not even close. Or you're gonna tear down the viewers that are watching, not even close, I will not allow it. I will pour so much life into so much life into these into these individuals that's watching that whatever you say won't even won't even have an effect. All I want for the men that want to build and want to grow. If you don't want to work, that's fine. And I'm not going to put you down for it. You just got to understand what the repercussions are going to be 10, 20, 30 years from now. And whatever bullshit you watching on Instagram is a lie. <laughs> Facebook is a lie. YouTube is a lie. You got to work to get somewhere. And I'm never saying to anybody, you got to work five jobs. That's how I know you niggas is fucking dumb. You don't got to work five jobs, depending upon where you're at. If you're 50, you got three kids and a wife. And you got no money. And you got all these responsibilities. You might have to work three, four, five jobs. Why? Because your actions 10, 20 years prior to where you're at now has led you to where you're at. So no, the average person doesn't have to work five jobs. If you don't have a bunch of kids, if you're not married, if you don't have all these responsibilities, no, you don't need to. So please don't come here talking as if I said you need to work five jobs. I've never said that. 